New evidence has been released in the unsolved murder of a teenage girl at Torrey Pines Beach. DNA and FBI reports from the 1978 murder are giving renewed hope to the family of Barbara Nantes. News 8 investigative producer David Godfredson takes a closer look in this True Crime Files report. It's a short walk to Torrey Pines Beach from the parking lot. Along the train tracks, under the bridge, to Lifeguard Tower 7. Jim Alt was 17, his girlfriend Barbara Nantes, age 15. We stood there and looked at all the fires on the beach. It was the summer of 1978. And we thought, we're going to have fun, man. This is cool. We're going to camp out and, and, until we have to leave. The two teenagers zipped their sleeping bags together and fell asleep in each other's arms. I was a surfer. She was a girl that worshipped the sun. This is where innocence plays. And innocence was not here that night. Barbara's murder remains unsolved. She was beaten, sexually assaulted, and strangled to death on the beach. The killer or killers knocked Jim unconscious. What they used to bash my head in was a rock and a log out of the fire pit. Jim has no memory of the attack. He still has a metal plate in his head. Barbara found naked, her nipple nearly sliced off with a knife, her mouth stuffed with sand. The killer dragged Barbara's body across the beach and positioned her spread eagle. It hurts my soul, but I have to come here because no one else will. No one else will. I'm the only one swinging for Barbara. Over the years, police did several rounds of DNA testing on evidence from the crime scene, according to reports obtained by News 8. They tested three sleeping bags, three rocks used in the attack, a cigarette butt found on the beach, a necklace around Barbara's neck, fingernail scrapings, and body swabs taken from the teenage victim. On the sleeping bags, police found Jim's DNA and the DNA from another couple who police believe had previously used the sleeping bag. That couple spent the night in the parking lot on the night of the murders. They also found mixtures of DNA at such low levels they were unidentifiable. On the rocks, they also found unidentified low levels of DNA. But on the cigarette butt, they found a full DNA profile from an unknown male. It's been entered into a national database. But despite all this testing, no suspects have been identified. In 2014, San Diego police turned to the FBI to try and find Barbara's killer. They wrote this report identifying other murders in Southern California with similar characteristics. The report shows two 1985 cases where the victim had sand or gravel stuffed in their mouths. The murder of 22-year-old Donna Gentili and the murder of 25-year-old Marsha Funderburg. Both cases remain unsolved. In Long Beach, a Jane Doe found murdered in 1974 also had similar characteristics. Her body, like Barbara's, was dragged across the sand. San Diego police say they have looked at those other cases, but found no compelling evidence to make a connection. DNA expert Susanna Ryan in Carlsbad is familiar with the Nantes murder. I do believe that there are still some open avenues in this case for additional testing. A new computer program could hold the key. The software made by a company called Cybergenetics can reanalyze old DNA test results. Mixtures formerly unidentifiable can now be separated out. If there were mixtures that perhaps the analyst at the crime lab was unable to interpret at the time, I would suggest that they go back and look at that data and see if it could be sent to Cybergenetics for reanalysis. <laughs> and numerous human hairs found at the Torrey Pines crime scene can now be analyzed. Jim Alt is still waiting for that break in the case, and he'll never forget his last memories of Barbara. Just her laying in my arm, us talking, looking at the stars. David Godfordson, News 8. San Diego police emailed a statement to News 8 saying that its laboratory is on the cutting edge of emerging DNA technology. And if necessary, the department is also willing to send evidence to outside labs.